Hello everyone. So today we're starting this video in my bathroom and I'm going to talk to you guys about the five makeup products that I use every day just to do my look. So that's right, I only use five. This is maybe the one aspect of my life that I'm already minimal in and it's the fact that I use five pieces of makeup. Maybe some people don't use any makeup. More power to you. I'm one of those people who feel the need to wear it every day. Yeah, but I, I've got about a 10 minute makeup routine and about a five or so minute hair routine. So it's fairly minimal. I'm also going to go and clean out my makeup drawer and some of the drawers in my vanity here. Yeah, I only use five products, but it's actually really trashy down there. Um, and I do have other products where I bought them on a whim because I don't know why. Thinking like, oh, this is gonna be my new favorite and then I never use it or I don't like it and it just ends up taking up space. So I'm gonna clean out everything that I don't use that's not in my core makeup case. And this is what I use. Like this, this is my makeup. Every day it fits in here. A lot of other parts of my life are really, really cluttered and trashy, but my makeup collection is really, really stinking small. Um, so I'm proud to show you guys what I use. Let me show you first what I have in here. This video is a little tough today. I use a eyebrow cream, I guess. I don't even know what it is. Fluid line? I don't know. It's, um, it's eyebrow cream stuff. And my eyebrows are naturally invisible. So I use this every day to sculpt my eyebrows. This one is from MAC Makeup. The majority of my stuff is things that you can just get at any department store. This is like the one thing that you can't. I don't even know how I ended up going into MAC, like, anyway. This one, which is an extra that I have from e.l.f., which cost like two bucks or something, is pretty much the equivalent to this MAC stuff. I'm probably gonna get an uproar of people being like, oh my god, you're gonna compare e.l.f. to MAC? I'm doing it though. I feel like they're the same. $20? $2. Then I come through and I do some eyeliner right on the tops of my eyes and I kind of do it on the side and a teeny bit on the bottom. As a kid I did it in the tear line. Big mistake. I thank Avril Lavigne for that. Um, but now I just kind of do it below that eye there. Then I have some cheap shadow. It's just from e.l.f. and I get it at Target. Whatever department store you want to go to. This is my palette. Yeah, that's it. It's pretty simple. The next thing that I do is I take this brush and I take this CoverGirl powder. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a bronzer, but I just use it as like an all over face powder. I just do up my face, do up whatever area is gonna have exposed skin. Other people contour. Uh, I don't really do much in terms of like contouring, but I do hang out on my cheeks for a while. It's like the poor girl's version of contouring. I, I just kind of keep going and going until I see some color. So I'll just, you know, I'll hang out. And maybe even afterwards, I will look and be like, oh, I didn't get enough on there. And I'll just do it some more. And I do it like this until I feel like I've got a little bit extra on my cheeks. And then, yeah, you know, like, yeah, it's pretty good. That's what I do with this. Then I put on my mascara. Apparently, I really like CoverGirl. But again, this is just the stuff I've always bought. It's done me well. It's the Lash Blast Volume. So I usually do like a dark brown but sometimes I do black. Anyway, that goes on my eyes, I do my bottoms and my tops, and I'm good. And that's it. That's all the makeup I have. So just to recap here, all my makeup fits in here, with the exception of the bronzer. Well there's my brush for my bronzer. Eyeshadow, brush for my eyeshadow. Eyebrow goop, brush for my eyebrow goop. Eyeliner, mascara. That's the makeup that I put on. Let's just take a walk through it. Let me show you what I do every day right here in this bathroom.
wanted to shoot this video because I feel like my morning routine is pretty spot on in terms of a minimal routine to have considering that I do wear a full face of makeup and I do my hair you know almost every day. I'm gonna be honest I actually don't watch makeup videos. I've seen them floating around YouTube and I've seen them on the internet but I just am not a big makeup person so I don't really know anything about name brand makeup. I don't know much about applying makeup other than I put it on my face and it makes me look more awake than I usually am. You know, when I was growing up, the internet wasn't filled with people showing tutorials. Like, there was no tutorials on how to do your makeup. It was actually kind of crazy. You had to look in magazines and just try to simulate whatever you saw. And I guess they would occasionally have a couple diagrams that would show you. Basically, the magazines just had a couple pictures and then a bunch of models. It was just a trial and error on how to do makeup and... Like other people in my generation, I suppose, I just found something, stuck with it, and I've been pretty much doing the same thing since I was a teenager. In fact, I've been using some of the same brands since I was a teenager, which is really kind of silly. Like, talk about brand loyalty. It's not because it's necessarily the best brand. I just grew to know it and trust it. I'm not being paid by any of these companies to say any of this. I just The brands that I use happen to be brands that I've always used, and they've done me well. <laughs> That long winded enough. Anyway, this is my makeup drawer. The fact that I only use those five makeup products that I showed you means that I can get rid of a lot of stuff that's in here. Basically, here's my drawer of stuff, and I have some more stuff that I'll get into, but first, I'm going to pull out what I do use. Here is trash that I put in my sink. Probably not the best place to put trash. There it is, it's in my sink. I did find quite a few more makeup items that weren't in my drawer, but are things that I don't use, just like pink lip color. Here is actually a brand that I really like, but just the color was way too pink. So you can kind of see there's another pink lip color that's just not my color. A bunch of junk in there, really. Just lotions that actually smells really good but I don't use it anymore because now I use and I will show you so I use Burt's Bees baby lotion and it comes in a six ounce bottle and I get mine off of Amazon actually it comes in packs of three which is pretty cool and I have it so it gets shipped to me automatically if you guys want I will try to remember to link it in my description so you guys can check it out but it's it's the same price if not a little bit cheaper from the store and it's just good because it's fragrance free 98.9% .9 natural, no farbins, phthalates, petroleum, or SLS. It's just a product that I trust and I like to use on my skin and it feels really good. So I use this every single day. I have my backups all here because the thing that I hate more than almost anything else is running out of lotion. So that's the lotion that I use for like every part of my body, including my face, and I don't need this stuff. And then just other miscellaneous things that that I don't need. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting stuff, I guess, in this basket, which will be my garbage basket. So, I don't really need both of these. I don't even know what the difference is. I guess whatever. I will keep this one, I guess. This is like, is this silly? Do you guys also buy things in sets like these are two different brands and they're basically the same color there's no reason that I should have both of these because I really should finish one before moving on to another but for some stinking reason I gravitate towards the same colors same with these ones 
prenatal vitamins. These are just left over from when I was pregnant. I should just probably keep using them as a natural daily vitamin. And then this is kind of like my zen fragrancy stuff. I should probably try to use this, so I'm gonna make an effort to see if I can bring this into like my bath routine. Maybe I'll use this in my next bath. And spare toothbrushes, which you gotta keep because, you know, my daughter drops them on the floor kind of a lot, so you never know when you might need these. So, this is my haul of trash. And this is a bunch of change that I have because I always have change. There's a good amount of change in here. hair stuff in it. I so, so, so rarely use hairspray, but it's one of those things where if I throw it away now, then I know when I do need it, I'm not going to have it. So makeup remover. The one other thing that I have from that darn Mac makeup store, pretty much any makeup remover will do for me. I actually just like to use Neutrogena bars, just like the $2 face bars, but I have purchased this when I got my eyebrow stuff, so now this is apparently my makeup remover. So when I have particularly a lot of makeup on, I will use this to kind of wipe down my face. So Here's a bunch of keys that I don't know what they go to, as usual. I'm going to throw all these keys away because they've been sitting there long enough. I can't recall having had anything I need to open that I haven't been able to open, so I'm pitching these. This is kind of a silly bin that I don't get into very often, but it's got like nail polish removing stuff and a bunch of my daughter's hair tie stuff. So this is a place that I think is good to keep extra hair ties and nail stuff. I've got just the core items that I use. <laughs> the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the importance of having just those couple pieces of makeup that you really like. The pieces of makeup that when put together equal your signature look. Maybe for you guys though it's three pieces of makeup. Maybe it's 15. The number is not so important. What's important is that you know what your look is, you know how long it takes you to do it every day, and you just stick with it. What's classic for you? What is the look that is the most versatile that you can wear everywhere you go? You know I think that what's so nice about that is it adds a simplicity to your life. So if you know what your makeup's gonna be like, there's no question of what you're gonna do that day. You do your routine and it looks good and you're out the door. And so even though it's not a different look every day, nobody knows that. I don't go around and have people be like, hey, your makeup looks different. Or, oh, your makeup looks particularly good. Like to me, it's just, just get a look and stick with it. And that makes life a lot less complex. I don't know if there's really any other reasons. The other reason not to just keep makeup hanging around, makeup goes bad. I mean, that's that's all there is to it. Makeup goes bad, like it gets really dirty and full of bacteria. I think that they say it's like three months is typically as long as you wanna have some makeup open. I've had makeup a lot longer than three months, but it's not really good for you. I've had styes in my eye before, which is pretty gross, and they said it's from just bacteria from gross old makeup. The way I see it is, is if you have your core makeup, you use it while it's fresh, you get a new one one once empty, there's no question about it. It's just a good, easy, simple routine to have. So whether your routine takes two minutes, five minutes, or 20 minutes, you know what you're gonna look like at the end of the day, and it's just a peace of mind thing to have. That's it. That was my makeup routine and my tidy up of the bathroom. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, if this is the first time to my channel and you've made it to the end of the video and you're thinking that maybe you liked it, go ahead and hit subscribe. They're gonna be every Thursday as usual, but I did promise a few people out there that I was gonna try really, really hard to make extra videos. So I'm really gonna try to make an extra video, I swear. Keep checking back and I will talk to you later.